Do you ever look at your consumer unit and think, what do all these buttons actually do? Hi, I'm James from JKO Electrical, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining consumer units, also known as fuse boxes and distribution boards. Now, in this particular property, we have what's known as a double stack board. So basically, it's like a fuse board on top of a fuse board. Now, the reason I want to do this video is we were lucky enough to have two types of RCD, RCD in this property. So we have um, what's known as a RC, RCD, a standard RCD, and we have RCBOs. So this was a good opportunity for me to show you what the difference is between an RCBO and an RCD. So I'm going to flip the camera over. So the difference between an RCD. Now, in a, a standard board, you get what's called an RCD and this RCD will protect all of these circuits here. So if there's a fault, um, and with RCDs they're very sensitive and it can be the smallest little fault. If you had a fault, say on the outside here, we've got a driveway feed. If there was a fault outside, it would make this switch here trip, which means all of these circuits die. Um, and you won't be able to reset this RCD in some circumstances until that fault is rectified. So, when it comes to um, consumers on the other end and they're, they're at home at their weekend and they have a power trip on, say, their outside driveway power, they lose all their power and they can't turn it on until they get an electrician out to fix the issue. Now, nowadays, what most people fit and what pretty much what the only stuff we fit now are, are RCBOs. Now, up here are what you call RCBOs here. So, they have their own individual test button. The good thing about these is if you had a fault on, say, external lighting here, you lose that one circuit. So, it's its own RCD. Only that circuit will trip. There is only one issue with that circuit. So, again, at the weekend for the customer, if they're out they're at home, um, they have an outside lighting fault, they lose that circuit, they don't end up losing half of their house. So so um, it's much, much easier for a customer to, um, or less inconvenient for a customer to lose one circuit opposed to the, uh, the what have we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circuits here, which in that case they'd lose their out their kitchen sockets, their first floor ring, second floor ring, underfloor heating, spa bath, intruder alarm, smoke alarms, and driveway feed. So obviously you can see it would affect a whole lot of their house if they did have a problem. Where with the RCBO, they would only lose that one circuit. So um, it's, it's a much better way, a much better setup um, for the end user. Now, while I'm doing this video, I'll do a little bit ex bit of um, explanation so you know what all the other switches are. So here's your main switch, this big red one here. This big red switch, is, it does exactly what it says on the tin there. It's the main switch. So if you were to turn that off, we would lose absolutely everything. That whole double stack board then becomes dead. These first five circuits here are what we call the RCBOs. They are individual RCBOs. They protect their individual circuits. If something goes wrong, you lose that one circuit, happy days. On this one here, it's called RC, we, call, we labelled it RCD1, protects these four circuits. So if something goes wrong on any of them four circuits, that trips, you've lost that whole range of circuits there. Down here, again, RC, RCB, RCD2, sorry, protects these here, these eight. If something goes wrong on any one of them eight, you lose that, you lose the whole lot. So that is, in a nutshell, the difference now if you've had your board done by professionals you would notice the circuit charts charts on here you should always have these circuit charts because it help, helps the next guy come in and understand exactly what's going on in the background also nice stickers with contact details of the, the, of the electrician that installed it um mixed wiring if there is mixed wiring I, I don't believe there is mixed wiring here apart from on the mains tails um, which are red and black, which is why we've put that on there. Also, the test sticker for how often you're meant to test your, RC, uh, your RCD test button, which is this little button here, you press it. Um, you're meant to do that every quarterly. Um, and then up here, your next inspection sticker. So when you have an EICR done or a condition report done, that is where your test dates are, so your initial test date uh, and the uh, recommended retest date. So that's the end of my how-to video. I hope you found it useful. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos.